Today, we are going to be doing something that we've never done before. I'm going to be reacting to and assessing the safety of people doing Molly in a very popular movie with Seth Rogen. Woo, yay, it's gonna be so exciting. I've never done one of these on Molly. I'm always doing it on other psychedelics that are more intense. So let's jump right into this. The movie is called Long Shot and take it over to Cody to explain what it's about. So Long Shot is a rom-com where Charlize Theron plays the Secretary of State and she hires Seth Rogen's character to be her speechwriter and then a bit of a romance ensues. It's pretty woman, but she's Richard Gere and you're Julia Roberts. And as always, I need to point out that I'm doing this for safety and harm reduction. I do not suggest that anybody smokes a molly. Apparently that's what she says. I haven't watched it yet. The basis of the series is I watch the video and I'm going to basically tell you guys with my vast treasure trove of knowledge if what they've displayed is accurate, if they followed safe use protocol, what they could have done differently. And yeah, that's basically it. So we're gonna react and assess safety of the scene. Let's jump right into this. I just wanna be a normal person and not give a fuck about anything just like the rest of the world. Yeah, most people don't give a shit about anything. I bet it's really nice. <laughs> Yeah, most people don't give a shit about anything. I bet it's really nice. Aw. Most people give many of shits. Plethora of shits. Let's get fucked up. Like a few beers fucked up. Or like a little more than that. Super fucked up. I want to smoke a molly with you. Okay, first of all, you don't smoke Molly. Second of all, I strongly believe, and most people would concur with this, getting smashed, not a few beers, but getting shit face drunk, you're much more effed up than when you smoke a molly. I just, I can't stop saying that because it sounds hilarious. But if you're taking, see, it's all dose dependent. If you're taking just one commonly dosed 100 milligram MA press pill or preferably capsule so you can test it easier with the crystals inside, you're not as intoxicated as when you're drunk. Like people don't realize just how debilitating alcohol can be. Everyone thinks that, oh, all these other drugs, because they're illegal, they're stronger than alcohol. No, no, alcohol in its higher dose ranges is a very strong effed up experience, much more than M, but let's continue. What? I'm just gonna call it too. I promise you they didn't test it. They're not gonna show people testing drugs in a movie, even though it would be an amazing day for harm reduction and safety everywhere. But basically what you do is you get three reagents. You can follow the link in my video description to buy the reagents. You get four little, three or four, depending on how many reagents you use, little piles. You basically take like, a tiny, like a grain of salt amount in each pile. And then you take your liquid, drip it on it, and then you watch the color change and the reagents come with a chart. And it's like, if uh, Marquise turns black, then it's MDMA. But if it turns yellow, then you have a cathinone. And back in the day, even still, people sell all kinds of substances saying it's Molly. Everyone knows that Molly should be MDMA. But it's not always. They could have cathinones in there. They could have amphetamine-based things. I mean, MDMA is uh, based on amphetamine, but you know what I mean. They could have meth in there. So that's why you must test your drugs. These days, they even throw that fentanyl garbage in there, and it kills people. So you also need to test it with a fentanyl contamination kit. Again, all of that can be found in my video description. Um, yeah, so let's just continue. That, that's the number one rule of safety would be test it. Number two is you need to scale to accurately weigh your doses. Don't eyeball that stuff. You need to weigh it properly. That's why it's preferred to have the crystals because in a pressed pill, it's got the filler in there and you can't weigh it properly. That's not how you take it. But how do you take it? It's a pill. But I don't know if you want to do it. Why not? I just don't know if it's a good idea. As your boss, I'm ordering you to get me a molly. So this is also going to be clearly an expose of her very first time trying it. And everyone's first time is very different than their second time. More often than not, your first time is your best time. Wasn't the case for me. In fact, my second time was my best time. The first time, I just think I didn't really take enough because I was really cautious. And I just felt more social. And then I had a shower after and the water was absolute bliss in liquid form. So this is gonna be really interesting to see how they depict someone's first time with Miss M. Why are they dressed like that? Oh, okay. So they've they've got it already. It looks like they just they're chasing it with a shot. Don't mix substances, please. I don't feel anything. You don't feel it? No, I don't feel a fucking thing. So far accurate, you want to touch everything, tactile enhancements, you know, tactile sensations are amplified, so 
touching people, touching yourself, touching fabrics, touching one of our amazing trip blankets. Shameless plug, head over to psychsubstance.shop, pick up your very own trip blanket. These are designed to touch. They're very, very soft. My jaw feels really weird. Yeah, that's the drugs. Drugs love a jaw. I want more. Yeah, the, the jaw thing, it causes what they call grinning, where you're just like, nah, you look like a real maniac. And she wants more. No, 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 no. Maybe like an hour. Ooh, we should do it now. Definitely makes you want to kiss everybody. That's why they're finding better alternatives in therapy. MDMA is fantastic for curing the most difficult to treat cases of PTSD. But there's new compounds emerging that don't make, you know, the patients want to touch the therapist. Not, not saying that that always happens, but it can be a little challenging because it can be very touchy-feely. And yeah, it'll make you want to make out with your friends. So far, it's pretty accurate. Granted, the one thing that I'd like to point out is uh, their reaction looked a little too intense for just one pill. Again, you don't know how much was in the pill. These days, they can be anywhere from 80 milligrams on the lower end to as high as 250, which is quite scary because very small individuals have died from consuming as much as 500 milligrams at once. Usually it's females because they metabolize it differently than men. So two of these 250 milligram pills could kill you, which is why, again, if you're following safe use protocol, it's best to have it in crystal form so you know exactly how much you're taking and you can weigh it accurately with your cheap $20 Amazon scale. Of course they're dancing. Everyone's always going dancing with Molly, which I always find silly because in fact, a lot of people don't know this, but what causes a lot of the negative effects or even the come down the following days is something called oxidative stress, which is exacerbated by heat and dehydration, which is why they say to drink water on it. So in fact, one of the worst things you can do on MDMA is get really hot and sweaty and dance. You wanna stay cool. Less oxidative stress, less damage to your brain the following days or weeks or months or for the rest of your life, maybe. Who the freaking hell knows? Probably not the rest of your life, but you want to limit, mitigate that oxidative stress. So don't go dancing. I know it's so tempting, it's so fun, but the best way to take it is with some close friends and just communicate all those feelings that you've been bottling up inside forever and just let them all flow out freely. Way better, way safer. And you know, drink a little bit of water. You don't even have to drink too much water. You just wanna keep yourself cool. I can do this forever! We're gonna! I've been like playing it pretty cool. Like I've probably been a little hard to read. And I've been acting kind of like aloof maybe. Like I don't care that much. But I don't wanna do that anymore. This is accurate. He's sharing his feelings. You basically just blah, blah, blah. say exactly what you're thinking. No filter. I really like you. You have a good- And he really likes her. You're also going to confess things that you probably didn't want to confess. It's a little bit of a truth serum. I'm playing it cool at all. You just followed me into the bathroom. Yeah, to talk. But I really like you too. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's unclear if they actually like each other. You can like people on Molly that you would never like sober. It can be dangerous. You can get into some interesting relationships. I have some personal experience with this with uh, some very bad people, toxic people. Because on Molly, everybody seems so nice and loving, but it's all a facade. Your brain is creating it because you've got so much serotonin coursing through your veins. They actually did a test. They had people judge strangers' expressions on a computer, and they found that while they were on M, they were more likely to say the person looked happy. And some of these mother effers were like, mm. and they're like, oh my God, he's happy. Next lady's like, Oh, she's just excited for life. Like it just, it changes your perception of the world because we seem to project what we're thinking outwards. It's like, if we're feeling really good, we're more prone to thinking other people are also feeling really good. It's just not always the case. So you gotta be careful. Madam Secretary, listen to me. Dance with me, Steven, dance! We have a situation. Huh? How much longer is this Molly stuff gonna last? We just re-upped, maybe four or five hours. Probably not. With each redose, the duration lessens significantly. So like, if the first dose, say, would last three to four hours, so some people last longer, everyone's different. Some people, they metabolize it very quickly, and then you re-up again, it's probably gonna only last half of that, maybe three quarters of it. And then the next time, your tolerance builds as you go. So it's not like every time you take it, it lasts another four hours. It's gonna slow down. I'm gonna be in so much trouble. What's happened? All right, all right. Are they out of water? Prime Minister Barat is refusing to return the pilot to the United States custody. It's gonna be okay in there, right? That's up to you, ma'am. So really the only thing to be concerned of in this scenario would be what other people think of you. And of course, the your job is on the line, a very serious job apparently that she has, secretary or something. You've been a great secretary. A 
state. Which state again? All of them. But it's really not going to inhibit your ability to communicate. For some people, it actually enhances their ability to communicate. It's going to change it towards being more emotionally based and less logic based communication. But, you know, she should do fine. I don't see why not. The glasses are a giveaway, though. I can hold on to your sunglasses for you if you like. Oh, no. So she's wearing the glasses to hide her eyes because when you take M, you get pupil dilation. They get bigger. For some people, the size of saucers. For me, they finally look like normal pupils because my pupils are always the size of pins. I have alopecia in both eyes. She has hair loss in her eyes. Hello. Secretary Field. Oh my. Hello, Barath. I hear we have a situation here, one that we both probably want resolved. Very quickly. Depending on how high you went, like obviously it looks like they took two, but the first one will be wearing off already. So let's assume they're on 200 milligrams. You're not gonna be that debilitated, at least for a lot of people. Like it's not so overwhelming that you can't like try to act normal. If, if it's your first time, you're obviously not gonna look normal, but you could really pull it back quite a bit. In my opinion, everyone's different of course, but this is just my opinion. It'd be much easier to act normal on that than to be shit face drunk. Because when you're drunk, you're throwing your words. <sighs> this is not that intense. Your man will stay here until your president personally apologizes to me. Yo. Yes? Can I level with you? Can I fill you in on something? Go ahead. Me and Charlotte, we're fucked up right now. We're on drugs. Yeah, you definitely have an urge to tell everybody that you're on drugs. I've done this. And I like that. <laughs> He's doing this with his jaw. Very accurate. I don't want to talk about that. I don't, Why? I don't we can't want talk to talk about the drugs. I don't you know want to talk drugs? about that in this Do you know we're on drugs? We're on drugs right now. <laughs> he seems really fucking pissed. I'll get more fucking pissed. I don't know who's really in charge. <laughs> oh my god, that really hurt. You gotta be honest, I'm not I'm not feeling all this aggression stuff. I'm in more of like a chilled vibe. Yeah, it'd be pretty hard to get angry on this stuff. If you're angry already, it'll probably calm you down. I mean, it, it can happen. You can definitely get angry on it, trust me. But it's unlikely, and instead of anger, you're gonna be wanting to spread the love, the hippy-dippy stuff. Just, I'm so sorry. Just, just gonna bum one. Okay. Okay. And it makes smoking nicotine so much more euphoric because the nicotine causes a bit of a dopamine splurge in your head. Your head's already releasing dopamine, so it just cascades that dopamine downwards and it feels better. We both have to deal with my boss and we both think he's an asshole. You also think he's an asshole? It was a stupid fucking TV show. It was like good for three episodes. <sighs> Fuck, it feels good to say that. <laughs> yep, it'll feel really good to get stuff off your chest. The US does not negotiate with terrorists, but we do negotiate with homies. So if you give us our guy back, I'm gonna hook you up with a sweet aid package. So not only do you not have to keep a guy hostage, which is a pretty shitty thing to do. I mean, I've done it myself. Don't tell anybody, super classified. It sucks, I hate it. Yeah. So why don't we instead save a ton of lives? I mean, that's pretty fucking awesome, right? I think this is a really good idea. <laughs> that whole scene was adorable. Hostage save, motherfucker! Yeah, 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 yeah. She did it! She did it! <laughs> All right. That was a cute scene. Now, was that accurate? For the most part, yeah. I mean, I already went over in the video the things that I didn't necessarily agree with. Um, how th could they have done things safer? Well, first of all, don't mix it with alcohol. They're mixing things. Always bad. Like I said, more oxidative stress, more damage to your neurons, more brain damage. Avoid that. Of course, they could have also tripped with my trip blanket. That would have made it much more enjoyable and calming and serene and pick this up at psychsubstance.shop. And of course, tested the stuff before they took it. But I mean, like it's a movie. I don't expect them to show that. But that's what you would would want to do if you were following safe use protocol and like I said avoid dancing I know I'm so boring take it with some close friends bond I mean you can't really have sex unless 
you're like crazy horny because for men it causes vasoconstriction, so the penis shrivels up into the body. But you can do all kinds of other activities like kiss. Um, anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave it with a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments section what you liked about this one, what you didn't like, what you want to see next. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to see the uncut version of these videos and the stuff that we cannot show on the YouTube, head on over to our Patreon page and subscribe there. Till next time, take care, guys, and I will see you all in the next video. Cheers.